Hi, welcome to Replenish Hope. And the middle manager. <laughs> so today is going to be a little bit different. Mm-hmm. We're but, doing a combined show. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we wanted to do a combined show so we can kind of talk about how our podcast journey started and then kind of the kind of the why we each wanted to do our own mm-hmm. our own podcast mm-hmm. and so let's start with you with replenish hope how how did you come up with that idea or how did that come about i think it was a it was the idea came from um, encouragement from you mm-hmm. from our friend from my friend emma mm-hmm and uh, from Gary V. Mm-hmm. So weird way, you all, um, all three of you were t- telling me that I should write. Yeah. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather all my, all my notes, everything that I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write again because that really brings me a lot of hope and it brings a lot of joy and happiness when I do it. So I said, okay, I'm going to do another thing. So I was thinking of another blog, which I do have is replenishhope.com. And um, so I, and then, but the name, I did not have the name yet until I was wa- watching our little girl swimming in her swim lessons. And I saw how f- alive she was. And I remembered how alive I felt when I went to my mom vacation Mm-hmm, the and, famous bomb vacation. Yes, I'm so sorry, but I did have a great time. During Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, that's another subject. But um, we, I went to, I went inside these waterfalls in um, Huatulco, Oaxaca, Mexico. And um, I remembered being so alive in there, so revived and so replenished. So, mm-hmm. so I started thinking about replenish and I was thinking about my journey to that point, and um, I thought about that, um, about hope, that everybody has hope, either have lost it, don't know what it is, or, um, and how, and how everybody um, deserves and ha- can have hope, so that has, that's how the name, that's how the name started, yes, mm-hmm. that's how the name came up, and then, listening to Mr. Gary V. And um, you introduced me to him, and I was avoiding listening yeah, to him. Yeah, you were avoiding that as much as possible. Yes. Because I didn't start listening to him till mid-December. Yeah. And when I started listening to him, then he's, I started learning a lot of things about the kind of social media and its impact and its power and its reach. And... I started mentioning it to you, Mm -hmm. just kind of little things here and there, but I didn't push it a lot, and I just kind of let you be as I listened, and then you got hooked somehow. Yeah, I think I I avoided him because I know when you know that you are meant to do something, (laughs) it's just I didn't want another commitment. But really, I didn't want to fail in this. Mm -hmm. I thought... I thought that if I would try, I wouldn't be good enough. But Mr. G- uh, Mr. Uh, Gary V teaches that um, do what you can do, and be who you are, and don't don't expect perfectionism. Like don't don't do that. Mm-hmm. So that was very free. That gave me the liberty to be me, and uh, and as as a spiritual person or or a faith person. Um, it really encouraged me to uh, to do this. So thank you, honey. Thank mm-hmm. you, Mr. Gary Vee, and thank you to my friend Emma and who and everybody else. <laughs> everybody else. And how I started was because you decided you were going to start doing your own podcast. Yeah. I figured, well, why don't I do my own? Yeah, because we 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 had the we both have um, the privilege to know a lot of great people, mm-hmm. and I wanted to share their stories to give other people hope. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, sorry, interrupting. Go and ahead. then I wanted to be able to reach people it kind of in what, because what I do is I'm I'm in middle management yes. in my organization, mm-hmm. and I realize how that struggle is real when you're in middle management because mm-hmm. you have 
you know, the, the executives and the bosses at the top pushing stuff down all the time. And then you have people at the bottom complaining all the time. And it's, you have, you know, the angry emails coming from the top or the do this, do that. And you have to carry the flag to the people on the bottom. And then from the bottom, you have complaints coming up for things you have no control. You have zero control over some of these things that are coming up. Yeah. And you're just getting squished in the middle. And there's a lot of, you can feel very lost in the middle, very um, disengaged in the middle. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that really helped me get through some of the challenging times for me were the podcasts that I would listen to, audiobooks, the, um, what else? Just any, any motivational speak, like all that stuff would really help me get through that. Yeah. And as a, as a wife, seeing you being in the middle, it's been really challenging for us, for our family as well. Mm -hmm. And then also, I think we understand other families who are in the middle mm -hmm. as well. And, um, and it's interesting to see how I listen to your podcast, honey, and it, anybody can relate. You don't have to be in management really to relate to be in the middle in any organization, even any a organization, nonprofit, really volunteering, even in your friendships, you're yeah. sometimes, sometimes in the, in the middle. middle. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle. Yeah. So I'm trying to get people from, I'm not looking for something specific. I'm looking for stories that interest me and things that I would be interested in so that when I'm doing these interviews, there's, it's more than just filling a spot or filling a slot or just trying to get interviews so I can just get mm -hmm. episodes, mm -hmm. but rather getting people and stories that I think would add value to people who, who are in the middle or just want to learn more or want to develop more or looking for something a little bit more. I know. And you've, you've been getting your, um, your guest that you don't, you just been finding them. Social media, social media, social media, just looking for stories because people are out there and they're sharing their stories and that's the easiest way to find them. Yeah. And the good thing is that you can, you can see a good portion of their story first and they get an idea of, and a sense of who they are as, as, as you, you know, as you line them up, and bring them in for interviews, you kind of already have an idea of what the story is and you've already heard parts and bits of it. And you know, that's, that's where you can get your interest peaked rather than just cold emailing people randomly just because they happen to be a manager somewhere, but rather you already know part of their story. Yeah. Now that's, I guess that kind of goes into my why, why your why? For replenish help. Help. that's um i do it because um uh, on a personal level i do it because it's it's a way that um i'm being prepared for to telling my story mm -hmm. my story is still being in the making um um I'm coming out of healing and recovery and discovery of my, um, by my own life. And, um, I wanted to give hope to everybody around me because I know how important that is in a human being having hope. Um, and I also wanted to have people that I knew who are, their story is totally different than mine, but the end of the, day or the end of the story it's all about hope and i wanted to give them a, a space to do that and also for all of our listeners that they may find hope we listen we can i mean we can read on social media listen to the radio on satellite on podcasts we know what's going on in our own lives mm -hmm. we already know what's going on in our own heads mm -hmm. it's so nice to hear hope mm -hmm. i mean if I can look back even a few months ago, even now when I listen to other people sharing their stories, it encourages me like saying, okay, it hope is not lost. Hope yeah. is, is tangible and it's, and to some extent it's free. Yeah. I mean, you do put an effort, you have to do your part, but it is for everyone. And, um, circumstances, Challenge your hope, it doesn't um, define it. So um, I'm doing this to tell personally, eventually, slowly, mm -hmm. telling my story as it continues to develop. 
and um, the journey continues, but also to bring people in to uh, support Replenish Hope in the way that they can share their story yeah. and to give hope to the to to whoever is willing to listen. And it's free. I mean, we're doing this for free. Yeah, we don't have a sponsor. <laughs> and this equipment's not cheap, free. I mean, no. I mean, we're doing this because we we believe in this. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have something to say, and um, and it's not coming from a place of pride or being naive. Because you know what, my goal is as long as I do this, and I. My goal is to learn as much about hope as possible. And that has been my quiet prayer, which is very scary. Mm -hmm. Because ever since I started praying, Lord, show me what hope is. I've been challenged. Yeah. (laughs) And this hope is, hope sometimes doesn't have to be like, sometimes it is life threatening. Like you need to have hope for tomorrow. But sometimes it's just, I need just hope for at this moment. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this because... We all need to hear good news. Yeah. I mean, I mean, as things progress, as things are going faster, this is a great time to give hope faster and mm-hmm. easy and more e- and more easier yeah. way. So I'm doing this for the stories. I'm doing this for the people who are listening. And I'm doing this for myself because it's it's been really challenging but also has been really healing. And in my um and my wellness, my journey of wellness, I have to find things that give me joy and happiness. And this has really have got my creative brain going, which is yeah. a big part of who I am. It's a lot of fun. It is. And and you know what? It's and a lot of fun. It's, it has brought us together. Yeah, it kind of has. A lot. We, we just, yeah. I mean, um, I will share later on in another podcast of the challenges we have, we have had in the past, but... I mean, it's just like, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. It has. Like, it has given us a purpose that we can do together and yeah. individually. And individually. Yeah. So, I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else, honey. I hope not. <laughs> 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 yeah. Maybe it'd be nice later on having someone else doing the editing for us. But other than that. Yeah. Like a video person or something like that. <laughs> it's hard doing everything kind of by yourself i know but he he's been you've been doing such a great job you know what you're doing i yeah and what about you what did you share your why um yeah kind of just the the whole being in the in that muddy middle and the you know the kind of the the strength and the and the encouragement and even one of the things that I'm asking of kind of every guest I'm trying to work on every guest is like kind of something practical because mm-hmm. you can get motivated so much but if you don't have practical knowledge for something you can get motivated as much as you want but if you don't know how to start or where to start or just kind of even just a simple way to do something then you don't you you don't want you won't know where to start and you won't have a practical way to apply it to yourself. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm asking of guests is like, give me something practical. Like what, what, give me something that helped you that somebody else can do like today, like right now. Mm-hmm. Like you can st- walk away and be able to do this one thing. And this one thing will help you today mm-hmm. and a habit that you can build for the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's it. I think that covers yeah. what we've got. Is we talked about how I got the name, mm-hmm. why I'm doing this. Why you're doing it, why? How? How did I get the name? Well, because middle management, yeah, that's how I got the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how I got the name. Because I, I don't know, I, I'm a middle manager, and that's just kind of the first thing that popped in my head. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think we, we can be really relatable to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I I think your your guests can talk to, and you can talk to, I mean, we've been fortunate fortunate enough that um we've been really um blessed to have to know and to be able to contact a, have a lot of contact so so I, I think yeah i mean end of the day for for replenish hope is to share hope to everybody yeah to everybody and your way too i guess mm-hmm. in my way kind of too yeah it's just in a different in a different place yes it's not so, so much sentimental no it's not <laughs> <as> sentimental. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, there there are still, even though yes, people think business has kind of hard skills or like tougher. There's a lot of soft skills involved with it too, with emotions, mm -hmm. because you're dealing with people's lives, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of crossover between people's their personal life and their work life, mm -hmm. and how people's personal life will directly affect their work life. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that a lot of times mm -hmm. where people have not come to work because of their personal life, or I've had to send people home because of their personal life. Mm -hmm. So it crosses over. Yeah. I think, I mean, we're all living people. We all have something going on outside of work. Yeah. I think that covers it. Yeah. Right. I How, why, and hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Till the next show. Yeah. All right. Wait, I have to finish. Oh wait, you have a you have a <laughs> you have a closing thing, huh? Yeah. Okay, what's your closing thing? Well, um, I one of the people that I really admire and um, I look up to um, is Dr. Laura. Mm -hmm. I cannot pronounce her last name. Schlesinger. <laughs> and uh, she always ends with a saying, which is. And now go do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I wanted something too. <laughs> and I was thinking and I said, well, my thing would be, and remember, hope is for everyone. And with that, see you at the next shows. Okay. Bye. Thank you for listening to Replenish Hope. If you want to get daily doses of hope, please subscribe and share the hope with others. And remember, hope is for everyone.